看不见。你放心、啊，不相信我啊。Καλημέρα. Τι κάνουμε, ε? Καλά. Πάμε με τα λεβάκια. Πέντε καμπέ. She likes me. <laughs> Ich? Ja. Alles im grünen Bereich.
Doki, Doki. Ο καπετάνι στο πλοίο μα ευχόμαστε μια ευχάριστη εκδρομή σήμερα. Το όνομά μου είναι Δημήτρη και θα είμαι οδηγό σα για τη σημερινή μέρα. 
Μόλι ναι, φύγαμε από το λιμάνι των Φυρών και κατευθυνόμαστε προ το Εθνικό Γεωλογικό Πάρκο τη Νέα Καμένη, το ενεργό ηφαίστειο τη Αντορίνη, όπου θα μπορέσουμε να επισκεφτούμε του πέντε κρατήρε, εκ των οποίων ο ένα είναι ακόμα ενεργό. Στη συνέχεια επιστρέφουμε στο λιμάνι του ηφαίστειου. Άμα έχετε κάποια στιγμή που σα αρέσει, θα δείτε καλύτερα ευχαριστούμε και να περάσετε πάρα πολύ όμορφα. Ευχαριστούμε πάρα πολύ. Ladies and gentlemen, good morning and welcome to Jason. We just left the port of Fira and we are heading to the National Geological Park of Nea Kameni. Take some water or refreshment with you because of the volcano is too hot. If you don't have any, you can buy one from the bar of Perus. Buenos dias y bienvenidos a Jason. We part of the capital of the tribulation and we have a good excursion this day. My name is Dimitri and I am your guide for this program. El volcán activo de Santorini, donde podemos visitar los cinco cráteres de los cuales uno está todavía activo. Luego volvemos al puerto del volcán a las doce y media. Si no tiene, agua o refresco lo pueden comprar del parque del barco. Bonito, 
já foi lá no céu e já foi. Silvia, tira uma foto minha. Esse programa não é pra todo mundo, meu O chefe foi lá que não sabia se estava com as coisas. So there is a very long tube that connects the magma chambers to the surface here, the crater. You know? All this very, very long tube, from one explosion to the other, may be broken by a big uh, earthquake, may be blocked by, by a big stone, maybe water comes in, a lot of factors intervene that shift the characteristics of the next explosion. You know? So every explosion here is a big surprise. You don't know where it's going to go out exactly, and we don't know how intense it's going to be. Okay, so that's why if you take a look around, you can tell we have different irregular layers with different colors, different textures, different ages of the stone. This is because every explosion has totally different characteristics than the, the other. It's a nice to live. And also, we don't know the place it's going to go out. Maybe if the block is really deep down and it's really resistant, it has to search for an easier way out, you know? So it's, if it's really deep, maybe it goes out and creates another island. And we make more money with the boat. You know? Or we create another crater. Or uh, fix up another one. The conclusion of all this is that the, here we are on a very, very particular and complex volcanic system. You know? Not the typical volcano with crater in the middle and lava all around. Here it's quite different the story. You know? For example, the color of the stones has to do with the time of petrification. You know? Say the time that the material cools down and becomes solid, becomes a stone. You know? If it's lighter, it means that it's cooled down slower. If it's darker the color, means that it cools down fast. For example, over there, you can see that the texture is a bit uh, first and it's uh, darker. This means that this material had to travel really high in the sky, cooled down in the sky, came back down as a stone. Okay, no more boring uh, geology. We'll meet after this big black stone on the left, on the active crater where we can see all the steam going out. This one first eruption in 1707 to 1711. Again, it erupted in 1939 to 1941 in, uh, during the Second World War. Behind you, we have the latest lava material on this island. 
and in Greece in general, the lava of Yatsika in 1950. If you're not a geologist, more or less, it's like a pile of stones harmonically placed with a little bit of steam <laughs> and we don't understand it more than that. No? The interesting part, these volcanoes are actually in the middle of a huge crater. All these downhills you see around is actually the big, the top of a big crater, no? Because Santorini, before taking this form, if you see it on the map, it's like a half moon more or less, a little bit of fantasy, it used to be before a big round volcano on a big round island with, without sea in the middle, no? It was a big round volcano, two million years old. So what happened here? In 1630 BC, we had a ma this massive explosion here in the center of this, this volcanic island that made collapse all the central part. All the system with the tubes that come from the magma chambers to the surface, they came down. So as the cool sea water came in to occupy the empty space that the explosion left, met the hot lava and created a violent reaction. A secondary explosion, even more violent than the first one. That created some tsunamis. The latest theory speaks about 40 meters high. That uh, destroyed every coast city on the East Mediterranean Sea. No? Among with the prehistoric city in Akrotiri here in Santorini and the, the Minoan palaces in Crete. This explosion, the smoke of it, was visible from the Scandinavian countries. Everything that goes out after lava in an explosion was found in you know, all of the East Mediterranean coast. Also, this explosion was documented by the mythologies of the time. Because at the time we had no YouTube, no journalists, no history writers, only mythology. You know? Natural phenomena explained by gods and demons and angels and spooky stuff like that. To give you an idea of the magnitude of this explosion, the, the mythologies that documented the explosion itself or the after effects of the explosion were the Egyptian, the Hindu mythology, the Jewish mythology, Arabic mythology, Chinese, German, Scandinavian and the Greek one. You know? So it's about more or less one quarter of the planet that felt the explosion itself or the after effects of the explosion. This uh, is considered to be probably the most violent explosion on the planet. You know? And a bit more scientific evidence is if you look over there on the Great Wall, the top layer of Santorini, it's a little bit lighter the color. No? This layer extends all over the island complex from 10 to 30 meters high. And there's nowhere else on the planet currently that we have such an accumulation of this kind of material. That's why the scientists say probably, and the locals say definitely, this has been the most violent explosion on the planet. No? And uh, also, if you look closer, over there on that layer, and all the big uh, expensive hotels, and all the jacuzzis, and the pools, stuff we really need to survive on this island, are all over there on that layer. No? They made them up there, not only for the view, and not only because our grandparents knew that we are going to make a lot of money now, but they had practical reasons as well. First of all, this material is really easy to dig. You can almost take it out by hand. And all these houses are cave houses. You only see the outside part, which is the entrance. The rest of it is inside. So it was easier to dig a hole and put your family inside than to extract the material and build a house as a normal person. No? Secondly, here we have strong winds all through the year, so it was better to be on a cave than to be outside exposed. Also, here we have a lot of earthquakes and the, the locals have developed a special technique to build on this material that makes it really resistant to the earthquakes. <coughs> so there are some caves, the oldest are about uh, 500 years old and they're still on without a crack. People live there still or making mining out of them. Also, as a cave, they maintain stable temperature and it's cooler in the summer, warmer in the winter, so we save energy. You know? And uh, what else? Yeah, also we used to have pirates here, not only the Caribbean, they used to come here to chill out. So the people were safer on the caves, you know? And always in our society, the most important thing is the money. So the people, this material is very expensive, so they would take it out and sell it. If you see over there, we will see the, the edge of a big slice that's missing. Is the product of, uh, of the organized mining we used to have here on this island. 
uh, this uh, material is considered to be really good for the construction. From here they took the material to uh, build the canal of Suez. All these big walls you see on the canal, they are built from this material over here. And as the boats were coming back to pick up more material to take it down to Egypt, they would carry a bacteria that was unknown in Europe at the time. So we had no defense in our immune systems. And the bacteria came here for a party, you know, and left the, the half of the island blind. That's why we drive so nice here in Santorini. We are half blind, it doesn't work so well. You see these gray boxes we have over here? There are a few more of them around the island. These are here. They don't have cold beard inside, I'm sorry, but they have measurement instruments for the Special Institute of Monitoring and Studying the Volcano of Santorini. They want to tell us when the next explosion is going to happen. So they measure the substance of the gases that go out. <coughs> They measure the temperature of the gases, they measure the earthquake activity and also they calculate the exact position of this island. They calculate and they will tell us when it's going to happen. We will know several months up to a year before the next explosion. But as we said, we are in Greece and we are in crisis. So that means that the scientists have to work on a nightclub or so to feed his children or to pay his mortgage. So most probably or maybe at the critical time of monitoring, he falls asleep on a sweet uh, sleep and he gives us a big surprise. <coughs> no, who knows? It's better to live with surprises than to have a predictable suicidal life. No? Okay, let's see if we have time for more stupid things. No. So, here we have three holes on the ground. You can put your hands and feel the heat that, go, that goes out. No? People say that you can make an egg or a chicken here. Don't know why, but if you have any, put them here to compromise. Oh, we're going to jump with that. People and men say, oh, we have these people. <laughs> That's how the top is I'm gonna buy two uh, pizza before we go. Oh, All is good swimming. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah,
Yeah, yeah.